Good evening. Pretty soon it could be a lot harder to see what your elected officials are up to. The legislature passed a bill last night keeping their work calendars under wraps. Yeah, this move blunts a court victory for the KSL investigators. It came down just hours earlier. So do lawmakers reasons for keeping these records secret here pass the KSL truth test? Daniela Rivera checks out some of their claims here. Utah lawmakers insist they're not changing the law, they're just clarifying it. This law has long said that daily calendars are not included. That's just simply false. First Amendment attorney David Ryman notes, despite those claims, Utah State Records Committee decided A.G. Sean Reyes' calendar is a record the public has a right to see under Utah law. And after careful consideration of legal arguments, a judge on Tuesday agreed. They have been requested and received before by the news media. Ryman is right. This is a copy of the state auditor's calendar. We got it last year through a public record request. Then there's this claim released in a statement to KSL last night from the bill's sponsor, Republican Senator Kurt Bramble. It is inaccurate to insinuate that the bill was rushed. It is a rush job. The version of Bramble's bill keeping calendars secret was unveiled the same day it got a hearing, leaving little time for public input. It was set to get another public hearing yesterday, but went straight to a vote instead, heading to the governor's desk in just a week's time. And the calendar exemption part of the bill is set to go into effect immediately, rather than the traditional date of May 1st. And they want to get it in, in place immediately. That's meant for emergencies. This is not an emergency to try and make government more secret. And that brings us to last-minute claims about safety and security. That's a pretty big security concern. In his statement, Bramble says disclosing calendars to the public has immense and even grave safety concerns, as experienced by Senator Kennedy and Angela Dunn. Kennedy's home was vandalized after he sponsored a 2023 law banning surgery for transgender minors, and protesters showed up outside Angela Dunn's home during the COVID-19 pandemic. But here's the problem. That doesn't have anything to do with their calendars. We checked. Kennedy confirmed his calendar has never been released to the public. Dunn, the former state epidemiologist, told us the same. She said demonstrators showing up at her house had nothing to do with her work calendar, and she doesn't appreciate being used as an example. And Utah's public records law already has exemptions for safety, and the records committee told Reyes he could redact location information on his calendar to remedy any concerns. Our truth test found claims that calendars have not been turned over to reporters under Utah's current public re records law are false. The timeline of the legislature passing this bill and its potential start date has been accelerated. And the examples Bramble used to illustrate safety concerns do not involve calendars. So we found they do not support his claim. Mike. All right, so let's